Hello there. On this video, we're going to cover the Basecamp Manager duties in Pathways. I want to talk about approval levels for member completions, how to print a certificate for the members, some of the reports that they have in Pathways. I'll just show you where the tutorials are and we'll briefly mention about printed materials. So first of all, I'm going to go into Pathways to the Basecamp. And the first screen we're taking to is the three tiles, Choose Your Path, Navigator, and this Access My Base Camp. I'm logged in as West Winners. I belong to two clubs, PBS Club and West Winners, but I have to be in the West Winners one because that's where I am a Base Camp Manager. If you don't see the Base Camp Manager button, you may be in the wrong club. So I'm going in as Base Camp Manager for West Winners. I've got three tiles here. There's three functions that I can perform as a Base Camp Manager. I can approve pending requests, I can look at member progress, and I can view these manager tutorials. So first of all, we're going to look at pending requests. Now a request comes from a Toastmaster who has completed a level. They go through their whole level information or projects, they come to the final completion report of their level, they'll click on level completion. At that point, it sends a letter, email to the Toastmaster Club where they're a member of, and it's the email address that's registered with Club Central. So for these pending requests, I wanna show you what a request looks like. So I'm going to take you to my virtual support site, www.justholler.com slash pathways, and I put a lot of information here to help people getting started in pathways, taking the assessment, etc. But I wanna come down here, I've got a section on Basecamp Manager Guidance, and I have a sample notice that the base camp sends out. So your member has completed a level. This email, as I said, goes out to the club and it says, subject, the member submitted level completion. Dear Vice President Education, a member in your club has reached an important milestone in the Toastmasters Pathways learning experience. Matthew Example has finished level five completion visionary communication and submitted a completion request for your approval. Please review and process the request as soon as possible because Matthew cannot begin the next level in their path until you do so. You can view the request by logging into Basecamp as manager and selecting the pending request. So that's what we've done here. We're in the Basecamp here and we click on pending requests. So there are no requests here. I'm going to show you an example of a request. So here's an example. This one says training pending request approval. Member example has completed level one of visionary communication. So if we're going to complete this request, we just click the green check mark and we approve their request. If we want to decline it, we click on the red X. What happens when we click on the check mark and approve it? This box comes up. Now, because three people have access as Basecamp manager, it's important that you write something in here so we know which person approved this because the secretary has access, the vice president of education, and the president. It should be the role of the Vice President of Education, but it all depends how technically savvy people are in computers. So here I've done on this one, approve level one completion for you. Congratulations on completing level one. Look forward to your speeches as you work through level two, Lloyd Willem VP Education. You click submit and now they can access the next level in their path. So that's taking care of pending requests. The second thing we have here is member progress. So there's reports we can look at, so I click on this tile. We have five reports we can look at. We can look at individual progress, path progress, path type, recently selected paths, or external training. So right now I'm looking at individual progress, and there's something important to recognize here. You look at these graphs, and at the bottom it says last refreshed on January 23rd at 5.41 p.m. If that's two months ago, you need to refresh this. And the refresh button happens to be over here underneath this options. Options, you click on that, it'll refresh it. There's also a second way you can refresh it. If you go on to the display itself on a graph, a little triangle opens up, you notice that? Look at that, there it is, now it's gone, there it is. If you click on that, you can do refresh. When you click refresh, it starts to do this spinning here and refreshing. Now I only did this about an hour ago, so it won't be any different information. The other thing you can do with this arrow is there's view details. So I can actually see who this person is. 
And it tells me here it's Sebastian. Sebastian's working on this path. So Sebastian's working on innovative planning. Level two, there's a couple of people working on that. If you click on that drop down arrow and click on details, it'll give you the names of the people that are working on this one. Nobody's working in level three. Nobody's working on level four. And if I look at the details on level five, it'll have my name, Lloyd, is working on level five in visionary communication. And there's just one person working on it. So that's individual progress. They have path progress, which really gives you the same information, just a different way. I have to wait for it to bring up the proper display. It, <coughs> it's not refreshing now. It's just bringing up the proper display. This was last refreshed about an hour ago since I started this. This tells me that there's one person working on innovative planning, one person working on presentation mastery, and two people working on visionary communication. Again, if I go onto the graph and I get that drop down arrow, view the details, it will give me the names of the people working on this. Sebastian, Lloyd, and Jackie are working on this. And Lloyd's working on two, hence why we get four. Paths not registered, pardon me, paths registered, not yet started, nobody. Paths in progress, we have three paths in progress, two people working on the same visionary path. Paths completed, none. So hopefully next month we'll have one path completed. Path types, there's reports on what path types are being worked on. And this is just telling you the difference between online and paper. So we have nobody working on paper and we have four individuals working on online method of delivery. Recently selected paths, when I go to that one, it's going to tell me that within the last month someone picked the path and that'll be Sebastian. One person picked the path. External training, they've given us the ability to request external training. I can actually fill out a form in here and request to go do some training outside of Toastmasters. That doesn't get used too much, so there's nothing there. Okay, so that's the reports. You have those five reports. You may look at one or two of them a lot. And I'll just go back home. I wanted to talk about tutorials a little bit. So I've done pending requests, member progress, manager tutorials. So they have six tiles here. Behind each tile, if you click on the tile, it'll list all the tutorials that you could take. And we might do this level completion. I'll do one of those. Remember, we just done the, I showed you how to do a level completion. This says level completion overview, responding to level completion requests. And you can launch it. It'll start a nice little video. To review a level completion request, select the pending requests tile from the home page. On this page, you can view all pending approval requests from your club members. To review the member's transcript, select the member's name on the left. To approve the request, select the green check mark on the right. If you find a problem with the request, select the red X to deny it. Enter your name and comments for the member on the next page. Select the Submit button. The other thing I want to do here was show you printing certificates. So I could show you a video of how to do it, or you could go here to this tutorials and it says how to print a certificate. So let's watch that one. And it always brings it up the same way. It'll ask you to launch. The other one asked me to request. I'd already been in it once this evening. To print a certificate for a member who completed a level in Basecamp, begin by searching for the member in the search box. Select the appropriate member name when it appears. Select the transcript tab in the member's profile. On the education transcript, select the open curriculum button next to the path. In this example, the member has completed the first two levels in his online path. To print the level completion certificate, select the view details button to the right of the completed level. Next, select the View Training Details button for Level 2 Completion, Motivational Strategies. On this page, select the Burgundy Print Certificate text near the center of the page. And there you have it.
I'll go back to my home. Home, home, home. I just want to go into tutorials again. Some members might choose to go the paper path and they have path completion and printed materials. And I'm not going to go through it, but they have some very good tutorials on how to work with members that are doing paper based paths. So that's all I have for tonight. Hope you have a great time with Pathways. And if you like the videos, please click on subscribe to our District 64 YouTube channel. We'd really appreciate that.